This is Blake from Matt Kiteboarding. I'm here in Moine Bay at C2 Sky and I'm riding the CRX gear preparing for a race that is coming up next weekend. It's a foil boarding twin tip race. Um, it's pretty cool. They have like, uh, actually it's really cool. They have um, border cross, so it's kind of like snowboarding. They have jumps where you have to jump over obstacles and just kind of race around a course a little bit. And then the foil boarding race is pretty um, standard. You just go around buoys. Everyone has the same gear, so it's a fair advantage. And it's just gonna be a lot of fun. I've actually never competed before because I don't really care that much. Um, but I'm here and we're hosting it, so I foil all the time, so why not? And it'll be a lot of fun. But today, we're gonna be teaching you how to do a mute and a nose grab. We're gonna be teaching you how to do a few more grabs. We've been doing a series where we're going from the most basic grabs to other grabs that might be a bit easier for you. So today we're gonna do a mute and a nose grab. And the difference between these and the indie and the tail grab, or that instead of your back hand, you're gonna use your front hand. So these ones are really nice if you're like popping off of a wave or something, because you can just kind of keep your kite parked. You can pop off the wave, take off your front hand, do the grab, and then send the kite. So the one thing you really need to know is that um, I like to use my thumb when I'm holding the bar, because what can happen is when you take off your front hand, you uh, naturally pull on the back hand a little bit more. So if you put your thumb like that, then you have a bit more control over the bar to your hand wide and give yourself leverage. That way you can keep the kite down or move it back if you're going. And um, so a mute is basically the same thing as an indie, except it's just with your front hand instead of your back hand. I was out the other day on a foil board and I was trying to demonstrate the grabs while talking to you, but some of the audio didn't turn out, so I'm going to go over it a bit more here where you can actually hear me. So, sorry for the turquoise walls, but this is the quietest place we have to work with and I'm trying to get these done for you. So, a mute grab is where you take off your front hand, you reach down, you grab between your legs on your toe side edge, and control the kite with your back hand. So the difficulty with front hand grabs is that it's more natural um, if you have your front hand on because then as you're coming down, you naturally pull on the bar. Um, whereas your back hand, sometimes what will happen is you're doing a trick or jump and then the kite will get out of control and go to the other side of the window. So in order to make that not happen, you have to obviously be conscious about it and think about your kite and keeping it on the side of the window that you're going. So, you're doing front hand grabs. You have to keep a conscious effort of keeping the kite down, of pushing out on the bar, and you do your pop and you jump. But once you're in the air, make sure to sheet out and just keep the kite falling with you. So, if you're riding to the left and you have your hands on your bar, you're going to be taking off your left hand and you're going to grab nose for your nose grab. It's pretty straightforward. Grab the nose of your board, and in order to get the nose to you, Rather than like having to bend over and touch your toes like you would if you were trying to stand on the ground with your board on your feet, you're going to bring your front knee to your chest and you can straighten your other leg so it kind of tweaks the board and angles it closer to you. So if you bring your knee to your chest, that brings the nose of the board closer to your body and then it's right there for you to grab. So that's a nice one if you're popping off of a wave or if you're doing like a front roll. Um, it looks pretty cool because you're spinning over your front shoulder. So you bring your knee to your chest, you drop your shoulder, grab the board and spin around. And um, you can also do those with back rolls or back roll hand drags or any trick just to jump. But um, it's just something nice to add to your tricks. So that's the nose grab. So those are two grabs. Um, I don't have a ton of videos of me doing these grabs. Um, so we're also just trying to showcase other people and there's a lot of different styles out there. It's like, we're trying to teach you tricks and just my style is not gonna teach you everything. So this season we're gonna be trying to include a lot more um, local riders here in Vietnam 
and other kite instructors. So you can do this one grab one way and then another person does a grab and it looks completely different. So that's the fun of kiteboarding is that everyone has their own unique style and way of having fun. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope these grabs helped you guys and I'll see you next week. If you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or anything to add, just let us know. And I'll see you guys in the water. Cheers.